Good morning guys, Miss Clark here. Today you're going to be practicing division and you're going to have dividends that are in the thousands and you'll be dividing by a single digit divisor. So in other words, like in our problem we have here, the dividend is the number inside the box, 1,433, and your divisor is 4. So I'm going to divide this number by 4 today. The first thing that I want to do is I notice that my numbers are in the thousands. However, just to get me started, I'm only going to look at the first two digits right here. And I'm going to use my divisor and I'm going to create some friendly numbers. But the way I'm going to do that today is I'm going to think about how many times can 4 get close to 14? In other words, what can I multiply 4 by and get close to 14? Well, I know 4 times 2 equals 8, and I know that 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, if I were to continue, 4 times 4 would be 16. That's too big. I want to get close to 14, but I can't go over. So now that we have something close, let's take a look at our friendly number. This friendly number only gave us a product that's in the tens. I want to make this into the thousands. I want to get as close as possible. So we're going to use zero the hero to help us do that today. I'm going to add a zero to the three and that will give me 120. Yes, it made a bigger product, but I think I need to even go a little higher so I can get a number in the thousands. So I'm going to take the friendly number 30 and I'm going to add another zero. And now I know 4 times 3 is 12, and we've added two more zeros. Okay, now we have 1,200. That's pretty close. So I'm going to use 300 as my friendly number, and I got to put every single number into this problem. The 4 is already in the problem. The 300 is our friendly number, so I'm going to put it to the friendly number list. The 1,200 is going to subtract out of the 1,433. Okay, 3 subtract 0 is 3, 3 subtract 0 is 3 and 4 subtract 2 is 2. Okay, now we've gotten a little smaller. Now we have a number in the hundreds. I'm going to use that strategy again by just looking at the first two digits for a second just to help me come up with a friendly number. Now 4 times something will get me close to 23. Let's try, let's see, we said 4 times 3 was 12. We said 4 times 4 is 16. What about 4 times 5? That's 20. That's pretty close. And I know if I were to go 4 times 6, that would be 24. So that would go over. I don't want to go over. So now I can look at this number in the hundreds, and I'm going to use the friendly number 5 to make a number close to 233. So I'm going to use 0, the hero, again. Add 0 to the 5, and that gives me 200. Okay, remember, we're going to use this number set. Every number belongs in the problem over here. So the 4 is already there, it's your divisor. The 50 is your friendly number. You're going to put it on the friendly number list. And the 200 is going to be used to subtract here to make even a smaller number. Because remember, we want to try to get an answer that's either zero or less than four. It can't be above four, like 33 is greater than four, so I have to keep dividing. 
Well, let's look at the math that we have here. We know 4 times 5 is 20. We know 4 times 6 equals 24. We know 4 times 7 equals 28. And 4 times 8 equals 32. Okay, if we continued up to 4 times 9, that's going to be 4 more. 32 is really close, only one away without going over. So I'm going to now use this number set here just as it is. Okay, the 4 is the divisor, the 8 is your friendly number, and the 32 is going to subtract from the 33. Now what happens is it leaves us with 1. Remember, once you get a number less than your divisor, it had to be 3, 2, or 1, or 0, and we have a 1, we're finished. Okay, no more dividing. However, we've got to add up the list to get our answer. So let's go ahead and add our list. We've got 8, 5, and 3. So now let's write our answer up here, putting the numbers over the correct place value. And that one is a remainder, it's left over. So we're gonna say R1, okay? All right, guys, now if I were to check this problem, I would multiply my divisor and my answer and then add the remainder at the end. And when I do that, it should give me that 1,433 to make sure that we have the correct answer. Okay, if you need to review that, you can go to the T Academy and look at the multiplication with area models and that'll help you to check your division work. When you do the assignment today, you'll be typing in the answer and an R with the remainder if you have a remainder. I hope this helps you all. If you still have questions, feel free to email your teacher. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye, everybody.